Many of the issues that Debs struggled with, they exist today. And one of the things that always fascinates me, and it always gets back to a, a, a saying, a brilliant statement that Nelson Mandela made. He said, quote, it always seems impossible until it is done. We live today and we think back, child labor, oh my God, how could anybody ever allow that to happen? Oh my God, a poll tax, poor people couldn't vote. Oh my God, women couldn't vote. A massive levels of income and wealth inequality, how terrible it was. We see that today in hindsight. And yet we're sitting in a country where three people, my friends, own more wealth than the bottom half of America. Hey, that's the reality of today. We accept that. What's the problem? During this pandemic, the billionaires are seeing their wealth exploding, and yet we have a half a million people in America who are homeless. Debs talked about military budgets and wars. Guess what? Unless we stop them within a couple of weeks, Senate is going to spend $740 billion on the military more than the next 10 nations combined. 60,000 people every year die because they don't get to a doctor when they should. One out of five Americans can't afford the high cost of prescription drugs. That is today. Oh, we accept that. We accept that. Debs teaches us that there are always rights and wrongs, that it is possible to understand in a particular moment what we need to do. But what Debs was about was changing public consciousness and saying, you know what, that's wrong. And that's what we have got to do as well. I don't want 100 years from now people to be looking back and say, why did you let the fossil fuel industry destroy the planet? Were you crazy? There's this continuing process of, of us being united and ignited rather around struggle, around movement and moving forward. And we ought to be more radical more aggressive, more passionate, because if there's anything that Debs taught us, it's that those who are radical and passionate and inspiring in their day have a reach across history that takes us to a march on Washington, and it takes us right up to today's Black Lives Matter.